हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट इफ द सप्लाइड फोर्स एफ इक्वल्स टू 150 न्यूटन डिटरमाइन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ 50 केजी ब्लॉक ए व्हेन इट हैज राइजन 3 मीटर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रेस्ट so we are given that this force f is equals to 150 newtons right so we have to find the velocity of this block a which has a mass of 50 kg when it has been risen by 3 meters starting from rest right so first of all what we can do is that we can consider that uh, pulley c so this is our pulley c right we can consider the free body diagram of pulley c and as we can see that if this force is 150 newtons so this uh, rope or cable is continuous right so we will have that 150 tension in this complete rope right so this means that if 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 i consider this as a free body diagram then we will have that same tension force here which is 150 newtons and we will have that same tension force here since it's one rope right one continuous rope and let's say that in this cable number 2 or in this rope 2 we have let's say tension t right so now if i apply the equation of motion right if i apply the summation of uh, uh, the forces along y equals to m ac ac is the acceleration of this pulley c let's say that it is acceleration accelerating let's say this is ac and this is our positive x and y direction but as we uh, as we know that relative to the masses and the applied force the mass of the pulleys and the masses of the ropes are negligible right so if the mass of the pulley is negligible this is the mass of the pulley c if this is negligible then this will be equal to zero right so the summation of forces along y for this pulley c a is equal to zero right so now as we can see that this this is acting in the positive y direction so we have to write plus 150 plus this 150 and minus the t which is acting in the downward direction this is equal to 0 or from this we can see that the tension in rope number 2 is 300 newtons right so the tension in this particular cable is 300 newtons now after this what we can do is that we can consider uh, this pulley uh, with which the mass is attached with which this block a is attached right so now uh, this will be our free body diagram right and now we know the tension in cable 2 which is 300 newton right so this is this is cable 2 right so this will be that same tension 300 newton so this is 300 newton and this is 300 newton and the weight of this block a will be acting vertically downward the mass is 50 so this is 50 times 9.81 and the block a will be accelerating let's say that the acceleration is a a now again if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y and the mass this mass is equal to the summation of the mass of the pulley plus the mass of the block but since the mass of the pulley is negligible then this mass is the mass of the block a right and ay will be equal to aa that is the acceleration of block a right so we can write that this is aa so now as we can see that we have this 300 newton force which is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus 300 plus 300 minus that weight which is acting downward in the negative y direction so you will write 50 into 9.81 and this will be equal to the mass of block a which is 50 and the acceleration of block a so this equation will give us the acceleration of block a so from this 300 plus 300 is 600 minus this so 600 so this gives us 109.5 and now if i divide 109.5 divided by 50 right so this divided by 
is 2.19 right so the acceleration of block a is 2.19 so a, a equals to 2.19 meter per second square and the positive signs indicates that block a is accelerating in the positive y direction right so it is accelerating in the upward direction now we are given that the initial velocity of block a is uh, zero it starts from rest right and it travels a distance of three meters right so so s is equal to three meters and initially let's say that the position of the block is at zero meters right so we have to find the final velocity so the final velocity v a square will be equal to the initial velocity square this these are the equation of kinematics right plus 2 a a into s minus s naught right so this will give us the final velocity so this is 0 and this is 2 a a so a a is 2.19 and s is 3 3 minus 0 so this is 3 so this is v a squared and if we take the square root so this will be the velocity of the block a when it is when it travels a distance of 3 meters in the upward direction this is 2 into 2.19 into 3 so this is 3.625 right or we can say that this is 3.62 meter per second so the velocity of the block is 3.62 meter per second this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood this simple problem kindly like this video and subscribe my channel if you people want me to solve such more problems